So I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I say we are sick of people forcing their politics into our movies. But let me ask you this, what does it say when one of the greatest directors of our time, Christopher Nolan, who purposely steers away from politics in his movies, is criticized for making them conservative? I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. what this means is when stories are told truthfully with no agenda, they're more likely to be conservative. Think of any classic, I mean real classic movies. How many of those movies are politically correct fad stories in an attempt to score brownie points with the Academy? Uh, none of them. Now this isn't exclusive to Christopher Nolan, there are other directors in movies that are criticized for being conservative, for not being properly woke enough, but recently in Los Angeles I attended the Dark Knight trilogy event. All three of the Dark Knight movies shown back to back to back in unbelievable 70 millimeter IMAX format. And the nearly 11 hour event was freaking awesome. But the best part of the event was Christopher Nolan actually attended and spoke on these movies. I recorded the interview and in response to the moderator, specifically asking if his Batman movies were influenced after 9-11, he said this. Well, I think, you know, any, um, any really uh, engaged and, and sincere, you know, group of, of, you know, I suppose, you know, creative people, you know, you, you try and reflect the world you live in. You, tr you try and do that with a certain amount of, um, I suppose, sincerity. I mean, we were, we were always going for a heightened reality, not, not direct realism, if you like, because the character is very operatic. You know, you're selling a, a very... Uh, a very larger than life concept. Um, but when you look back on the films and, and the world in which they were created, uh, I like to think that you do find resonances. Um, we try to never be overtly political or self conscious about the relationship with what was going on in the world and what we were reflecting in, in the films. But at the same time, if you're really doing your job right, you're really laying yourself open to. Um, what are your fears? What are the things you're most worried about in the world you're living in? Um, hopefully there will be some resonance. I mean, I think that's the function of, of fiction, and, and particularly this type of very sort of, you know, heightened cinema is to give us a kind of uh, a way of dealing with the world around us that's entertaining. Now, I can only assume the moderator was asking such a bizarre question to try to explain why conservatives always praise and beloved Nolan films, and how the left often, uh, not so much. From not casting diverse enough in the historical film Dunkirk, to Salon even saying that The Dark Knight Rises was a fascist evil film, but saying that they're not name-calling or claiming that Nolan has Nazi sympathies, but, I mean, why would you write that, right? To even the New York Times saying, quote, Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy is notable for being much more explicitly right-wing than almost any Hollywood blockbuster in recent memory. And though the left always tries to find an agenda in these movies, it turns out, like Nolan has said over and over and over again, there is no agenda in the movie. He just tries to make the movies as realistic, relatable, and honest as possible. Meaning, he tries to make them truthful. So what does that say about the other directors and a lot of the trash put out by Hollywood? What does it say about the ideology, the narrative, the movies and stories forced out by the left? Probably what we all know and they shoehorn and force in unrealistic characters, pointless situations, and politically soaked dialogue to push a specific ideological agenda. That it's all just a bunch of BS. So one of the reasons you can argue why Nolan's movies always seem to hold up and have so much rewatch value is because even though it's a superhero in a cape, an astronaut going through time travel, or someone who breaks into your dreams, they're all relatable and feel real. Because when those characters are in that fantasy situation, Situation. They all still behave like we would in the real world and not in a fake slanted political one. So I guess that means the liberal leftist world is the real fantasy in cinema. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Well, that's the end of the video. So why don't you like and subscribe and even click that little bell down there so you never miss another video.